Eco Habitat Solutions are bound in rural India. Having recognized this, Basin South Asia, a network that works to promote sustainable habitats, felt a need for a national policy that would support environment-friendly habitat development in our villages. And thus, the journey began. Extensive consultations were held throughout the country for over two years and a National Rural Housing and Habitat Policy for India proposed in 2007. To introduce practitioners to the policy recommendations and to capture best practices from the ground, Basin South Asia initiated a unique concept of Loka Vas Yatra. Le mashale chal pade hai log mere gaon ke from September 2009 to December 2010, five such yatras were organized covering over 50 districts across northern, eastern, western, central and southern India. Over 500 representatives from village communities, panchayats, government bodies and NGOs traveled on 15 different trails in quest of eco-friendly rural habitat practices. गर्मियों में इसमें ठंडक ज्यादा रहती है और सर्दियों में उतनी सर्दी महसूस नहीं होती हमारे गांव में हम काम करते और कुछ टेक्निक ऐसी थी जो हमने नहीं देखी थी वो इस आवास यात्रा में जुड़े तो हमको बहुत कुछ सीखने सीखने को The quest revealed many creative examples of low carbon building technologies that are resource efficient and economical these traditionally designed houses called Bunga have been made by the villagers with compressed earth blocks. As compared to conventional burnt bricks, mud bricks consume very little energy and reduce cost as well as carbon footprint of the buildings. Participants in the Bundelkhand Trail saw an interesting social housing project in Madur. All 53 eco houses here have been built by masons of Madur village. रेटिव चुनाई करने से हमें बहुत फायदा हुआ एक तो हमारा 30% मसाला और प्लस ईंटा की बचत हुई द सेंट्रल रीजन यात्री सो एन इंटरेस्टिंग लाइवलीहुड मॉडल बेस्ड ऑन द कांसेप्ट ऑफ क्रिएटिंग वेल्थ फ्रॉम वेस्ट द लोक आवास यात्री इज गॉट टू सी द एक्सेलेंट वर्क बीइंग डन बाय ऑर्गेनाइजेशंस इन प्रमोटिंग सस्टेनेबल हैबिटेट बेस्ड लाइवलीहुड्स Showcasing disaster-safe construction practices was an integral theme of the Loka Vas Yatra. After tsunami, when the houses were built, people were trained a lot here for uh, taking care of their own housing building. The Loka Vas Yatra highlighted several inspiring examples of integrated habitat development. The Gram Panchayat here took charge of implementing the Government of India's total sanitation campaign. शौचालय के पहले लोग रोड पे या फिर नाली के उस पर बैठ जाते थे लेकिन अभी वैसा नहीं है अभी सब शौचालय में जाते हैं और अभी उसके बाद अच्छा साफ सुथरा रहने लगा है द यात्रा हाईलाइटेड सक्सेस स्टोरीज ऑफ विलेजेस व्हिच हैव लेवरेज्ड स्टेट गवर्नमेंट स्कीम्स फॉर गेटिंग क्लीन ड्रिंकिंग वाटर जब जल स्वराज कमेटी स्थापन हो गई गांव में तब 10% पैसा जमा करके और बाकी 90% शासन की वजह से the Lokavas Yatra also explored different renewable energy-based habitat models. At the end of each of the Yatras, regional seminars were held in five different states across India to share learnings about habitat solutions from the ground. Yatris exchanged information regarding cost-sharing habitat finance models and how panchayats have leveraged government schemes for developing their villages holistically. The Lokavas Yatra has revealed the enormous potential of rural India in promoting eco-friendly habitat development, resource-efficient and low-carbon construction technologies tried and tested at the grassroots levels must find a place in the national and state level policy provisions for widespread application. It is also crucial to set up more training centers throughout India to enable large-scale capacity building 
of eco artisans, masons and contractors. The way forward is to build capacities of Panchayati Raj institutions and local stakeholders for achieving integrated habitat development.